And good day everyone, Owen Azuris here. It is Friday and I'm playing some random games. Let's try to decide what game to play. And I got an email saying that War of the Spark and Magic the Gathering is about to release. And there's a pre-release in this game, Magic the Gathering Arena, which gives me three free packs. So I played a little of Magic the Gathering Arena. I haven't played it on my channel yet. Uh, I've played a lot of Magic the Gathering when I was younger, back in high school. I have started around 3rd edition and kept playing really through, I think, Exodus. I don't remember. I remember morphing creatures were real big when I was kind of getting out of the game. Uh, I started playing this. It kind of reminds me of some of the other Magic the Gathering games they have released where you go and get a bunch of cards. They don't have a lot of the old cards. But they do say that this is going to be the new Magic the Gathering Online and it's going to kind of take over and they're going to have all the different expansions. At least that's what they told me. So play War Spark gets you three packs. Let's see what we get out of these. Okay, I got those. I guess I have to go to packs to unlock them. So... When I was younger, I probably had about ten to 15,000 Magic Gathering cards, hundreds of decks, so it is kind of annoying having to start over every time they release a new one of these games. So hopefully Magic Gathering Arena lasts a long time. I like the interface of it. Let's see. So we got a Bane Hound. I hate the fact that flavor text isn't on these cards. Destroy target land or artifact. Okay. Exile target creature, then proliferate. I gotta learn new abilities. Okay. So choose any number of permanents and or players, then give each another counter of each kind they ha already have. That would have been nice in my poison deck. Or that ability. My poison deck didn't have white in it. Okay, Wall of Runes. Choose one target player, sacrifice as an artifact creature or a planeswalker. Planeswalkers are something I've never really got into. I need to learn how to play as those. And just playing this game some, it's fun. I've been enjoying it. I get my butt kicked by people whenever I play them. Let's see if my rare is. Fine. Finale of Revelation. Oh, good. It's a blue card. I actually think I saw this post on Facebook. Draw X cards if X is 10 or more. Instead, shuffle your graveyard in your library, draw X cards, untap up to five lands, and you have no maximum hand size for the rest of the game. Then remove it from the game. That's pretty cool. Yeah, whenever I play other people in this, I get my butt kicked because I don't have a lot of great cards yet. Ooh, I like the looks of him. Moru. Moru? Mowu. Loyal Companion. If one or more plus one plus one counters put on him that many plus one plus one wait if one or more plus one plus one counters would be put on more loyal companion that many plus one plus one plus one counters are put on him instead so he gets an extra one if you were gonna put one on him okay that is kind of worded really bad and from playing around when Legends and Ice Age and stuff like that. I'm kind of used to... Okay, I'm getting all the finale cards. Destroy up to X... Or destroy up to three target creatures of toughness X or less. If X is ten or more, return all creatures from your graveyard to the battlefield. Nice, if it wasn't so expensive. What does this do? Okay. Reach can't be blocked this turn. That's not actually that bad. Shadow Mage. Oh, some plane walkers. At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, if that player has one or fewer cards in their hand, he deals two damage to him. That would have been nice in my rack decks. My discard decks. Okay. Awakening of Vitu Ghazi. Put nine plus one plus one counters on target land. You control it becomes a legendary. Zero zero elemental. That would have been nice in my land deck. I had a whole deck based around having lands attacking. There's a whole set that had lots of attacking lands. So 
So let's go and look at my deck. New game blues. This is what I made. So when I played Magic, I mainly played blue. I liked control magics, clones, and counter spells. And I'm kind of working on this over time. But I don't have enough to make it solid blue yet. Where are all my new cards? Okay, so that's my deck. Oh, this is my actual cards. Let's see what I want to throw in here. Finale of Revelation. I don't have a lot of artifacts yet, so that's not going to... Nah. Other thing I don't like about this is, and this is still kind of beta, is you don't have really multiplayer magic. I haven't seen, unless they've added it, but there's no like free-for-all, which is my favorite way to play. And no real, like I haven't seen Two-Headed Giant. Hmm. That actually is nice. Counter target. 1-1 one, one Flyer. Dang just looking at that, I didn't even realize it, but I remember when there was a 1-1 flyer called Flying Men that was blue and used to it went for a lot of money when I played back in the 90s because blue didn't have a lot of cheap 1-1 flyers. It was like, everyone was like, oh, it's blue scrib sprites. Okay, let's take him out and let's throw in Wall of Runes. Air Elementals. Yeah. I'm also real bad about having more than 60 cards in my deck. It's never really bothered me too much. Because most of my cards when I played, like in my main deck, would do the same thing. Or I'd have like theme decks of certain creature types. And so it really never bothered me too much. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit Done. And then play once against the computer. Go ahead and hit. Look at my mastery orbs here. Let's play. Traditional ranked. Let's just do a practice against the against the computer. I shouldn't have to wait. And I'm going against Sparky. Another thing I don't like is used to long, long time ago. I'll keep this hand. Ma now let's play. Yes, let's play. Is Magic Gathering was like built around the multiverse concept, and each expansion was kind of its own multiverse, but now they kind of... I don't know, every time I look at it, it's the same characters over and over, and that's not cool. Like, Antiquities is all about Misha and Urza, and you could actually kind of pick up on the story by all the flavor text in the game. You still can kind of do that, but... I don't know, I just don't like Dominia or whatever name of the main realm is now just... It's all these connected realms, but they all share, like, the same central characters, like this guy, Jace. And, I wonder what your favorite card is. Uh, my favorite card is actually the white spell, Balance. Uh, no attacks. Right, that's what I think the most powerful card is. Favorite card is probably Control Magic, something like that. Death Touch. Uh, that's not good. Why didn't... I must have hit something, because... Oh, Counter Target Non-Creature Spell. My bad. Let's get moving. Yes, yes. Okay. That Air Elemental is going to be nice. No attacks. So I should be able to use this to kill this guy off when he attacks. Go over to Rejuvenator of our sea. Okay. Look at the top five cards. Okay, so let's go ahead and tactical advantage. Okay. Pick blockers first. Technically that is right. Walk, 
So that'll be enough to kill it. I forgot it had lifelink on it. Let's bring out my air elemental. Yeah, you better say whoa. A scarecrow. Also, when I played artifact creatures were their own type, you didn't have like artifact creature scarecrow. He was playing lots of cheap cards. Sorry if you could hear that phone was ringing. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw an island out. So wall of vines can actually hit me. Or actually can block, I should say. So he'll block, I'm betting. Root Snare, prevent all combat damage to be dealt this turn. So basically a more expensive fog. Block? No. I don't know why they're not blocking. Maybe he has something that's going to buff that up. Meteor Golem. Just play, destroy target non land permanent opponent controls. Great. So he did have a plan. Yeah, I'm probably in a lot of trouble here, actually. Throw it on the column. Because, let's see, that's four or five damage a turn I'm taking. I need something. If I lose to the computer, that's going to be slightly humiliating. Because I've never lost to the computer playing this. That's five damage. Okay, let's take my turn, see what I get. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, it gets plus one, plus one till end of turn. Okay. Let's go ahead and get him out there. That'll stop a little bit of stuff. Well played. Okay. There's also no chat in this, which I know if it's kind of the Hearthstone model, but let's. Oh, look, I can play it with a little stuff on the side. Okay. So he's attacking just that. I'll let him hit me. No blocks. Okay, my turn. What do I get? An island. That does not do much for me. Let's see, if I use Demystify, I have to have a target, because I'd have to destroy that to give him 3-3 three, three and have him survive. You can do this. Hmm. Hmm. I like the fact if I return, or he returns something to his hand, you get to see it in his hand. It's a nice feature. So let's see, next turn... No, he won't have enough to kill me, but... 
right pass. Wait, wait, wait. This is incredibly stupid. Hey, I can see your hand. Okay, so block. Darn it. So he's going to get six. Okay, I can't beat that. I was actually going to cast Demystify and then counter it. D6-5. He'd make him 4-4. Four, four. Nah. It's not good enough. Okay, if I draw land, I'm screwed. Oh, well. Okay. Well, no. I'm still alive for another... Why didn't I... Shoot, why didn't I cast that? I didn't, wasn't even thinking. And plus, I'm not... I don't think I've used an interrupt yet on... Well, they're called instants now. I wasn't even thinking. I should have ca countered that. Yeah, I'm gonna die now due to my own silliness. Yeah, that's completely my fault. have nothing in here that's gonna go and yeah that's completely on me I should have countered that yeah I'm gonna have to Is there a way to concede no I want my you get rewards for playing I want my rewards Okay, this definitely shows me I need ways of dealing with creatures in this deck. So I'm gonna have to work on them. No, you aren't. Oh, uh, Magic the Gathering when you don't have much in the way of a deck. Okay, I'm not sure what that did. And just looking at the game itself, I mean, every day you get different quests. Or actually, you get quests and they regenerate, but I haven't finished this one yet. I've had that for a while. Been slowly working on it. Go ahead and recycle this. Cast 20 blue or green spells. So you can definitely do this free to play, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing because I can't get into buying lots of magic cards again because I will get kind of obsessed. I spent probably way too much when I used to play. Enjoyed it though, but yeah, I see all these like sealed deck tournaments, things like that going on and just doesn't really bode well for me if this game takes off. Hopefully it does, but hopefully I also go and add more modes, especially a free-for-all mode that you can chat and play with your friends. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick look at Magic Gathering Arena, since I'm just playing random games here. Thought I'd sh do a little one of those videos where people open up packs of stuff they buy and show off all their random things. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.